All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. Just got this little booger in the mail from the guys down there at Palmetto State Army. This is the Sig Sauer Romeo 5 2MOA Red Dot. Uh, guys, I went ahead and bought this thing at $119 with free shipping. Uh, I want to go ahead and order some more. We're going to do a box opening here in a minute. And if I'm really impressed, then I sure will be doing it. But uh, if you want to know some more of the details on this thing, and if you want to know where to purchase it, Check it in my website down below, kb32tech.com. Let's get busy and do this thing on the table. Did I just say do this thing on the table? Here we go. Ooh. All right, guys, we're sitting here on the table. And what I wanted to do before we do the box opening, I wanted to, well, I wanted to show you a couple different examples. All right, so this is the Spark AR from Vortex. This is an awesome little AR red dot. And I've had a lot of good luck with this thing, and I just liked the way it looked. But the advantage that it does have is it runs off of a, I think a AAA battery or a AA, I'm not sure. Triple A's. Triple A batteries. There we go. So anyway, I've never had to change the battery on this thing. It's always been working. The dot looks real good. And guys, with the technology today, dots are looking pretty good just about everywhere you do. So, so what else do we have? We have reflex sight, just like this sight mark right here. This is probably one of my favorite go-to sites. And one of the reasons being is that it's such a large area of glass. And the clarity on the dot itself when I'm wearing my old fart shooting glasses is probably second to none. I do love that. And then the same goes true for something like the Hollis Sun or the EOTech. Again, you have other options like this guy right here. Primary arms, one, two, one to six yeah this is set up for the 300 blackout so you can see there are different options for your short rifles or your long rifles this particular optic right here is going to go on this guy right here this is a ballistic advantage this is their 12 and a half inch barrel one and seven twist I'm very excited about getting this thing set up i thought i was going to put a little short hand guard on it i tried it out didn't really like it so i have actually ordered a 12 inch hand guard to go on this thing and we'll be building this here in the upcoming weeks but this is what is going to go on there so let's go ahead get all this stuff out of the way real quick and get this thing rocking and rolling on our review here we go all right guys let's go ahead and take a look at this thing real quickly it is a romeo six hour when it counts you can look up some more information on sigoptics.com now there's a couple little things out here you got the motac which is the motion uh sensor activation uh stealth you've got the uh what does that say? Spect spectra code. A spectra code, that's the coding on it. And the infinite guarantee, which I guess is an infinite guarantee. And then a limited uh, five year warranty. Okay, well, I guarantee, they guarantee it unlimited. That's a five year limited warranty. High efficiency red notch filter ensures dot remains visible in all conditions. Two MOA red dot with 10 illumination settings, eight daylight plus two night vision. The MOTAG motion activated illumination system. Aircraft grade aluminum housing ensures a lifetime of reliability, dependable waterproof. The IPX-7, basically one meter for 30 minutes. And that's that's really good, actually phenomenal for a red dot that is $119. And the big thing is, you got a good name behind it. Okay, infinite guarantee in electronics and tritium limited warranty. All right, so we got infinite guarantee and electronics and tritium limited warranty. I'm not sure what that means, but you can go to their website and check it out. All right, well, that's it. $119, free shipping. That's the reason I got this. You're not going to get a, a lot better than that. Elevation, windage adjustments, NOS, 10 elimination, high efficiency, red notch, blah, blah, blah. Size loading, a CR2032 battery includes the 19... A pick rail low mount and a 1913 high mount. All right, let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what she looks like. Here we go. All right, pretty standard as far as the uh, packing is concerned. We've got the Romeo. This is the owner's manual, but there we go. Look at that thing. Not bad. I like it. Open it up here. It comes with some scope covers. We have a battery and a very nice seal. This it does come with an Energizer battery. That's good to know. We have a little tool here for going ahead and making the adjustments. And then here's your additional riser, which is nice. Okay, so one of the things I do, and I'm gonna point out, is they are, everybody's switching over to the torque style uh, wrenches, which I do like. There you go. All right, so from the outside, you can take a look at this thing. We have the Sig Sal Romeo 5, nice little Sig area right there. We have the 
elevation knobs and the windage knob right there. This screw is not captured. So guess what happens? Okay, that's one of the downfalls, I guess you could say. All right, so elevation knob right here. Do like the fact that they are protected either by the battery compartment or this little slanted area. The on and off buttons right here. Let's go ahead and pull this open. Now, when the first time I looked at this, I was like, what in the hell? But you know what, look at that. That's cool. They have a directional arrow with a U, which I'm assuming means up, and that's good stuff. They also have the directions inside the turret caps, but what if you lose your turret caps? That's nice to know that they have that right there. So the clicks, let's see if they are tactile. Yeah, not bad. They're pretty stiff too. I like that. And also I right hear you have an arrow pointing to the right. That is a really good added benefit. Let's go ahead and pull these off right here. I like the coating. I like the ergonomics of the uh, red dot. It looks really cool, in my opinion. Uh, as far as uh, serviceability, I've not heard any problems out of these things. If you guys have, please let me know. All right, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and take this off right here. It's the battery cover. I like that it, the battery cover is knurled right here, so that you don't necessarily have to use a tool in order to get this thing open. That's one of the better parts. Now, I've already installed a battery in it because I wanted to see what it felt like, but I didn't want to open this guy right here. So that's one of my old IKEA batteries. If you're ever at IKEA, they sell like a pack of 20 for like three bucks. There is a rubber seal right here. You can see there. We'll go ahead and put that back on. But I do like that it has the knurling on the battery case as well as the windage and the elevation. I like that it has the arrows here and the arrows here because yeah, if you lose those, you're gonna be screwed up. All right, so the windage and the elevation adjustments, each click equals one half MOA. And that, I guess that is a really good deal when you're talking about a red dot. Now I did say 50,000 hours earlier, but I had, yeah, this thing comes out at 40,000 hours. Is that a big deal? No, it's not. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So in order to turn it on, you press and hold the plus button right here and there's your negative button. So turn it off, there's the negative button, you press and hold that. But as far as I'm concerned, just press and hold and leave the thing running, rocking and rolling. The brightness levels really do uh, a good job. I guess that during the day you wouldn't have any problems. Uh, and what we can do is I can compare it to a couple other ones, but I don't think we need to do that right now. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and mount this bad boy on here right quick. We want to go ahead and install the screw back in. And take the key part and put it right in there. I'm going to press it in. I'm going to turn about half of a turn to get it in there. And then what I normally do, and this is my opinion only, is I like to pop it in here as far to the front as I possibly can. Pushing it all the way to the front. And we'll go ahead and just finger tighten it up. So there you go. So that's what that thing will look like on top of your rifle. Very nice and good looking as well. I'm digging it. Wow, that is that is a really nice looking red dot. All right, so my decision's been made. At $119 with free shipping, you uh, probably cannot go wrong. If they're on sale next month, maybe I'll just go ahead and use and get another one. But uh, wow, that's just it's a good looking red dot. Looks just like an aim point with that side button on there. I, it just, it's a good looking red dot. Look at that. You guys can see that. There we go. You can see the dot now. But the camera really doesn't do it justice. You guys got to see it. That's probably one of the better dots that I've seen. One of the other items I really like is you can barely see the projector down here. It gives you a full, almost a full circle. Guys, that's it. I'm digging it. I will be buying another one. Uh, if you like this thing, let me know. If you've had any bad experience with them, let me know. Um, everybody needs to know about it. But, uh, wow, nice little deal. All right, well, that's it for the review. We'll go ahead and put this thing on a rifle and shoot it in the upcoming events, hopefully. I'm going to be shooting a USPSA match here in a couple uh, days. Uh, with the PCC and we're going to be shooting a nighttime three gun match and then I get to visit with the master himself Mr. X-Ring
we're going to be shooting out to a mile next weekend. Not this coming weekend, but the next weekend. Very excited about that. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. That is just a handsome looking red dot. $119. Unreal. Let's go to boy 32.